John Young with the Disc Jockey News. Today we're looking at a speaker from RCF. This is the Art 745A. It is a two-way powered speaker. Let's turn this around here. You've got your input for your electric. You've got your input, uh, your balanced input, and you've got a through, and you also have a quarter inch input right there. Um, pretty limited uh, as far as features on the back because a lot of the technology has been built into the unit. But you've got your, your limiter, you've got a little signal when you're, you're getting a, a signal, status lights there, um, control, the volume which controls basically the ins, either one, and you can select if it's going to be a mic or a line input. Uh, there's a flat and a boost. Uh, in the video that you'll see in a little bit, I shot two clips, one on flat and one on boost, and uh, at the volumes that I did it, you didn't hear much of a difference. I'm thinking that uh, probably when you push it a lot harder, you may hear more. But for the initial, I didn't push it, then I pushed it. But this is a 15-inch two-way. It has It's designed a little bit differently than a traditional 15 two-way. Generally, we're used to having having a horn that is, that is they talk about maybe a, a, a one inch or two, you know, inch and three quarter or an inch and a half. That's what they talk about. Well, this is a little bit different, but it's a 1400 watt box right here. And it really, uh, how can I say this? For a, a plastic box, it's not a wood box. It has, the way it's designed, a lot of, a lot of horsepower, a lot of throw with it. Um, we were out playing some music with it a little bit ago. We turned it up almost to the max. We weren't, still, we weren't getting the limiting light going on. It was incredibly loud. And what, what I really, really liked about it is even at that high, high volume, we weren't getting a piercing highs. It was sounding very, very smooth in front of the speaker. Now, interestingly, behind the speaker, traditionally when you're pushing that loud, you would you would hear more of the, the bass coming through or you know hear more bass. But we were hearing the, the, the highs come around. The dispersion must be a little bit higher than, than typical with this cabinet, um, or at least the perceived dispersion, which is, prob which is a bigger thing for a lot of us. So uh, very cool. Um, but I want to get back to that part where we're talking about the drivers. Well, there's some, some really cool stuff like that and I, about that. And I could do some just you know, talking to you about it, but let's go right to the expert. Let's go to Ken Voss from RCF. Ken, tell us more about the drivers in this guy. Thanks, John. I want to tell you about our new Art 745A. Art 745A has taken us up a step in new sound quality. What we've done is we've taken a 15-inch low-frequency transducer, matched it with a 4-inch high-frequency compression driver. Powerful, just literally a box that rips your face off. And the reason it can do that is because what we've done is we've matched the low frequency and the high frequency transducers. And we've actually put our crossover point down to about 600 hertz. That means you're getting more efficiency out of the low frequency transducer and not sending a lot of that vocal articulation range down there and just creating a muddier sound. You're getting the clarity because we're keeping the frequency in the driver that it needs to be. That way we can also reduce our power handling on it and give you more power. We can get 136 dB out of this box. It just, again, rocks. So that was Ken talking about it. Now let's take a look at the video. I've got a couple of clips, and they're both. I'm going to put them both here, even though I really can't hear a difference, and probably over the computer you won't hear a difference. The first clip is with the speaker set flat. The second clip is with the speaker with the boost, which is you know kind of the, giving a little bit of a, a smile boost signal. So let's take a look at the two video clips. So that's our video on the RCF Art 745A. A nice cabinet, they're fairly lightweight, um, great, for easily handled, I, I was very surprised with that. Two of these, I think, could do almost almost any event, really. Um, you might want to have a sub sub below, but I think for most DJs who are doing weddings and you want to have a microphone that is that comes through strong and clear, and yet you want to have the ability to go very very loud, I think this would be definitely something you need to check out because it has that ability to fill a room. Your microphone and audio is going to come through clearly, and it's still going to give you a lot of sound when it comes to the dance. So check that out. We'll put a link in the description below, but you can go to rcf-usa.com to find out more. This is John Young with the Disc Jockey News.